YouTube, it is your boy Officer K Slim with another tutorial video. How you guys doing today? So, guys, today I'm gonna be doing my uh, version tutorial on this uh, problem that I've been having, and I finally, finally, finally was able to fix this uh, problem, guys. Um, if you guys had this uh, annoying problem where your game keep crashing, you keep getting this uh, pop-up right here. Yes, that that message right there. Yes, I kept having that problem, guys, and I had to keep verifying my game over and over. Then I had to reinstall GTA 5. Then I had to uninstall it. Yada yada yada. I mean, it was it was like a revolving door for me, guys. But today I'm gonna show you guys how I did it and I'm gonna show you all step by step, alright? So let's get to it, alright? What I did was guys is um basically I didn't I wasn't sure, but until somebody told me you're gonna go into your GTA 5 directory guys and your old mods folder, you're gonna delete your old mod, you're gonna delete your mods folder and See what I did was I deleted my mods folder and I deleted my uh, x64 and update, but don't do that because it took forever for me to like wait for GTA 5 to install. So only delete the mods folder, guys. And the reason it being is because they claim that they got like old plugins and old it's like the old mods and stuff in it. So delete that. This is my new one I created and stuff. So once you delete it, guys. Uh, for Steam users only, if you're on the Steam retail one, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your uh, GTA 5 library, you're gonna right click, go to properties, then you're gonna go to local files, and then you're gonna click uh, verify uh, integrity of games and stuff. I already did it, it's gonna load and stuff, and then after that, if it says failed, that means that your uh, GTA 5 is going to update, so it's gonna take a couple hours for it to update and stuff. I had to wait a couple hours for it to update guys and it finally finished and stuff like that so after it finished updating the next step is what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up open IV make sure you uh, you go into open IV go into your mods folder and go to where it says update uh, and update.rpf up here guys if you get like a red notification bar where it says uh, mods folder or whatever if you get like a red banner up here you're gonna click a copy to mods folder then you're gonna have like a green uh, loading uh, bar right here where it's gonna be loading green and then it's gonna go into your uh, it's gonna bring your uh, update.rpf uh, into your mods folder and then it's gonna bring all this up right here so I already did it guys. I'm just showing y'all what happened and stuff and I already know. So after that guys, after you finish with that, next you're gonna go to uh you're gonna go right here to uh GTA5 mods.com. You're gonna uh download uh pack file limiter adjuster, you're gonna download that, drag it to your desktop. Next, you're gonna download the heap adjuster. Um and do the same thing download it to your desktop and everything and last but not least guys the main thing you want to download is the link is going to be in the description is you're going to go ahead and go to locate for a uh, game config the latest version of the game config or whatever guys and once you uh, find it, t5.com, go to games config. And this is the latest version right here 1.0.2189.0. And this is, it was actually updated like three days ago. So after that, guys, once you finish downloading all three of these files and stuff, guys, what you're going to do next is we're going to go back into OpenIV. And. We're gonna go into. We're gonna go to the uh, location where we put our game config at, right here. 
what you're gonna do is, guys, the old game come fan. This was been happening to me, cause like every time once I fix it and stuff, my game kept crashing. When I'm on a loading uh, rage plug and hook screen, it kept crashing, and then something told me, you know what? Pick up the uh, GTA 5 uh, game config folder. You're gonna click on here, and then you're gonna go to the one where it says stock traffic means GTA base. After that, you're gonna grab the one that's in the folder, and then you're gonna drag it into your Open IV, and you're gonna replace the one that they have. And once I did that, my game worked it perfectly. It stopped crashing, and that was that. Next thing you're gonna do next, guys, is after that, you're gonna go to uh, you're gonna bring your heap adjuster in there, drag and drop in there like how I did mine. You're gonna do the same thing with pack file uh, limiter adjuster, and you're gonna drag and drop those in there as well, like how I did it. Now, another thing too, guys, uh, for heap adjuster. Go to your uh, heap adjuster dot ini file. Right click or click on it, and what you're gonna do where it says uh, 750 at heap underscore size, you're gonna erase that and you're gonna put 2000. All right. After that, you're gonna save it, and that's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much it, guys. Basically, so far, we're right here. So far. I'm not picking up no crashes or nothing, guys. Um, like I said, this was really was causing my game to crash. Like before, I put the uh, game config in there, my game kept crashing, and I kept figuring out like, like I kept wondering like why it kept crashing, why it kept crashing. But then when I realized, oh, uh, I forgot the, I forgot to put and replace the uh, config file in OpenIV. That's what kept causing my game to crash, and it kept saying encrypted. So that's what caused my game to crash. Uh, I put the uh, new uh, game config in there, and it works very perfectly, guys. It works a lot better. No crashes, nothing. And that's pretty much what I have. Like, no crashes. So. I've been having this problem for like almost a week and a half, guys, and I'm so glad that today I was finally able to get it fixed up, and, you know, I hope that everybody follow on this tutorial, you know, and hopefully, uh, any one of you guys, I hope your game uh, works well, hopefully. And there you have it, guys. The game is not working. It is back in motion, guys. I basically was having that problem before, guys, with me stuck at the rage plugin hook. And then when in the middle of it loading up all the plugins, that's when the game started crashing because I realized, oh, uh, crap, I forgot to put in and replace the uh, game config with a new game config. So... You always want to make sure you do that, guys. Like, if it says, like, encrypted, when you go into your game config and open IV, if it says encrypted next to it, that means that that's the old one. You need to replace that immediately. So, that basically was causing the game to crash, like, while you're at the race plug and hook uh, loading screen. And that's why it's been lagging. So, now, the game is loading up. Excuse me, it's loading up right now, and yeah, you got your LSPD up for you, are back in motion, now uh, you get to play the game, and no problems or none. So guys, that's it, thank you, for, thank you guys for watching, uh, if this uh, tutorial help you guys out, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, hit that notification bell, guys. Uh, we made it to 300 subscribers. We're going to uh, make it up to, like, 400. So, let's make it to 400 subscribers, guys. Share my videos as well. Like, share my video with your friends and family. As you can see, I got to replace the uh, EUP and stuff, but... 
The game is working fine. It's working in motion. No problems or nothing. I got natural visions installed, so just gotta replace the uh, EUP uniform. But uh, I'm doing probably do like a uh, a Jubs in Paris or a Slide L Police episode next. But um, yeah, guys, that's gonna be it. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial and next episode. All right, you guys take care. And I'll see you next time, alright? Peace out, guys.